the environment has completely changed. Uh, we have got the new companies act. Uh, all IFRS is coming in, INDA AS is coming in. A uh, lot of regulations around tax are going to change. A lot of these, uh, the, the CFO's life has completely changed in a way. Uh, all these people have become CFOs, learned and completely new companies act, accounting standards, etc. That's all go undergoing a change. This report actually is a very good ready reckoner, I would say, for any CFO for two reasons. Number one, it has some very senior CFOs interviews as to how do they run their shop? What do they do on a daily basis? And that's a nice practical guide to any CFO sitting in this room. And uh, the other one, it's covered all areas uh, that are required in a company from IFRS to cybersecurity. Uh, you know, the, the whole gamut has been covered out there to make a CFO uh, become more relevant in today's time. Because um, as we all know, the CFO's role in India is changing, changing quite a lot. It is moving away from just being a person who puts the accounts together or looks after the finance of the company to actually becoming a partner of the CEO. And so this uh, book, in my view, should be kept as a handbook by every CFO. They can refer to it from time to time because it's got some really good expert commentary on different aspects. And it will be a very good uh, knowledge enhancer for anybody who, for some of the areas where they may not have touched upon. There are two things. Earlier, uh, the future was uncertain. Today, the past is uncertain. If you can see with the certain regulations, the coal block cancelling of licenses, the, t the 2G, uh, the telecom licenses being cancelled, retrospective tax. The CFO's life has become a nightmare today. And uh, even, you know, anybody needs consistency of policy, whether it's a tax regime, whether it is any other thing. And they need that consistency which they need to uh, follow. So I think the CFO's life has become really tough. So they need to first understand this environment. They will need to understand, use technology that is data analytics to get some really good information on which they can make some decisions. And they need to be able to budget for uncertainty and budget much larger than what they were budgeting earlier for some times which could be very um, ambiguous or you're not very clear about it. So I think the CFOs would need to uh, become much more relevant, understand the business much more, understand the risk environment in the business much more than what they understood earlier and then see whether the company is properly hedged. Even you take the foreign currency uh, fluctuation, okay, today it's a bit steady, but we went through a 50% depreciation of the rupee and that hit a lot of companies. So a lot of people got caught unawares at that time. You don't know what risk is waiting to happen. And for that, you need to have a very strong risk management process. And I would uh, look at it like this, that if, if the CFOs are involved in the risk management process, two things happen. Number one, you know, people ask, why do cars have brakes? The cars have brakes because they can drive faster. You can stop it when you want. Similarly, a very good risk management system will make the companies grow faster. So while the CEO is trying to grow the company, the CFO can put good controls and processes in place to be able the company to grow faster and take advantage of some of the opportunities. Because with every issue also comes an opportunity. So it depends how you look at it. And I think the CFOs need to look at that role. So they play two roles. One is the control environment, the risk management, and then helping the CEO grow. So it's, it's a balancing act that a CFO has to do. The trend is going to be, we are looking at uh, a rollout of GST, uh, which is going to be where the entire business model is changing. In fact, <clears throat> it is just not a change in law. It is going to be the change in way business is done. And there is going to be a huge uh, upside if you get it right for companies on the GST, then we have got GAR, which is staring at our face. Then we've got BEPS, which is coming in, where you're talking of transfer pricing, which has become a big issue. Then we have cybersecurity, which is becoming a major threat to all companies on that. Data analytics has overtaken our life. Internet has overtaken our life. So how are we going to use the social media? How are you going to use the internet to actually enhance your business, cut down your transaction cost, and make yourself more competitive in the market. I mean, you take the e-commerce companies. I mean, they've completely changed the name of the game. And today, it's very easy to start a company on the internet. You'll get competition coming from any corner of the world. So I think companies need to reinvent themselves. And I think a CFO can or should play an important role in this.